cool. Sorry, we can start. Alright. Um, cool. Anyways, so, usual starter. G'day, everyone. DJ Darks here DJ for Dames the here. third. DJ Dames Darks for the third card and colloquium. A uh, little bit of a change this time around. Every card and colloquium, it's been different people, I've noticed. Like, we've always had someone coming in or coming out. So, uh, I guess, once again, we'll do introductions, obviously. Hi, I'm DJ Dux, the only non kaiden in this fucking colloquium, so... Oh, we know. <laughs> but you know. Back in Australia, know. Um, enjoying life. Uh, we'll go around just to get introductions, obviously, but the newest member to the colloquium, Taisuke, do you want to introduce yourself? Hey. I don't need to introduce myself. <laughs> Quelt 420 plays. That's oh, what I yeah. need to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've also got Matt. Yeah, hi, I'm Matt. DJ Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the DJ Phoenix. Uh, Derek, looks like you're sleeping on my webcam. What's up? No, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> I'm just like lounging around. Alright, so obviously DJ Rhea, um, the best, as we like to say. Yeah. Not, not Dave's. And yeah. finally, Donovan. Yeah, I'm Donovan, DJ Bukaki, the one best in the world. Week. Yeah, best in the world. Yeah. Kirito. Yeah, DJ Kirito for a week. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Selling your soul. Oh. God. Yeah. So so we've got we've got a pretty good lineup. Um so yeah, I guess we'll just get things kick started. Um what's been happening in 2DX uh in the last month or so. So obviously we've got that new event which appeared just as I was leaving the country. So I'll I'll just handball it to you and Matt. So Taisuke and Matt. To uh, to cover it, so you guys Matt can first. take it from here. Okay. All right. So Matt, like. what's this event? And yeah, uh, this, event? There you go. <laughs> this event is like you grind, and then you get like pyramid pieces, and then like you unlock songs from those pyramid pieces. It's kind of dumb. And then like there's these daily unlock things where like. Depending on some gauge, I really don't know how it works, but like when the gauge fills up, you unlock like one of three songs for a day. Yeah. Which so I think Taisuke, if you could pull up the diagram, yeah, I'm just gonna put it up here. So here's the main page. This is for me being logged in because I'm done. The, uh, yeah. The spot one, obviously. So how do, I'm just curious, how do you get pyramid pieces? Uh, just, just by play. playing. Just yeah, it's just grinding. Just grinding. Uh, okay. The only. Uh, the only semi-interesting thing at all is you notice the five, like, no, ten weird, like, images in the middle? Yeah. Like, these different things. These are these, like, items that you can pick up, and the more items you have, the quicker you gain pieces, but that's it. And you, you get the items by doing, like, special sets and stuff, like, yeah. I don't know if you played Joe Monda, Soul Cosign, and Daydream in the same set, you yeah. get it? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What? And uh, another one is another one is play any first style song on DP as your first song of a set. Oh, uh, that's retarded. Yeah, so they're just really dumb. Um, for those that are, like, yeah, like for those who, who like want to do this efficiently though, and like don't want to grind so much, either you don't care and you just forget about this event and you play normally, and then you're like, oh look, everything's unlocked, which is probably the best way to do it. Or, if you really want to actually try hard this, pick up all of these first, because if you have all of them, it doubles the number of blocks that you get per round. Okay. Get everything really fast. So yeah. is there is there like a list of how to get all the artifacts? Yes, yes. Uh, it's on the uh, Bimani wiki. It's in Japanese, but yeah. if anyone's interested, I can like quickly translate it. So yeah, if anyone's interested, in it, uh, contact Taisuke and he'll, Just he'll sort you out. It's, it's really simple. Right. It's, it's so what, what about, what about the... Um, the, the actual, like, timed events. I think Taisuke right. knows a bit more than you, Matt. So, pull up the other Right, diagram. so here is... So, as you can see along the top, uh, when you're logging in yourself, um, at the top, there's, like... If I just go back to this one. You notice, like, at the very top on the black bar, this is, like, the first one. This is the first part, and this is the second part. Uh, people can't see your, your mouse cursor, but yeah. No, I know, I know. <laughs> but um, at the top, it's like highlighted. It's like so. Yep. Yep. These three things uh, are the three songs in order. You can see you have eyes. Yeah. Um, at the top left, I have a zero. It's alarm power. Basically, what this is is it's everyone like smashes the alarm clock 
for the song that they want. And that, like, fills up their motivation gauge. And once the motivation gauge hits full, like, as you can see at the bottom, Common Break is, like, ready. So today, I took this, uh, I screenshotted this last night. So that means it's going to be unlocked today. So if you check your page today, if you're interested, you'll notice that it's, like, all, like, awake and shit. So it'll be awake for today, and then it'll reset down to zero again, and then you have to fill it up again. And that's why does it sound like an event that should be on Pendulum? Yeah, that would actually be a good Pendulum yeah, event, but yeah. Because uh, Conway? <laughs> yeah, because Conway. <laughs> I don't um, know. So yeah, yeah. Every, every event they make is like a waste of time. Yeah, every <laughs> single fucking event is a waste of time. <laughs> so, yeah. so Taisuke, I'm just curious, you can get alarm points from every single game, right? Not just TDF. <sighs> I, yeah, I believe, yeah, I think so. But I'm not sure how they... It's not like one alarm power per round, because... That's weird. I, I've gone to the arcade and I usually play like at least 20 rounds, and then I'll come home and I'll have like maybe three or five, and I'm like, I have That's no idea. I have no idea how they calculate it. Maybe this is yeah. a cap? For the alarm power thing? Yeah. I've never even done that one. Yeah, no, really? Like, you don't have like, to, man. You don't have to. It doesn't matter. Everyone else already does it. Japan does it for you. Yeah, Japan does it, yeah. There you go. It was like, it was like, fucking common break again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, high. Okay, so so it's just basically everyone is pulling into these like yeah. alarm and... Yeah, it's it's kind of uh, like way back when in that um, tricor event, right, where everyone in your arcade would like work together to unlock the shit. It's kind of like yeah. that, except it's everybody. And then Tri Towers got everything in like the first day because it's yeah. fucking Tri Towers. So yeah, <laughs> okay, so it's pretty straightforward then, I guess. Like it's just whatever's most popular will get unlocked. Yeah, I find it just goes in order. Like as you can see, like right currently, Claire Patrism is like slightly ahead of um, Meditation, and Common Break is full because it was like the last one. But then if it, like they'll just keep like popping them out in order. Oh yeah, last thing, last thing yep. to mention about this at the very bottom you notice this text in Japanese it says some shit like four times at the end yeah basically I am this is leads us into our boss song discussion I guess but yeah um, each time you awaken one of these things it counts towards one of these times like awakening one of yep. the statues so once yep. this thing goes down to zero the text basically says you can unlock these more permanently Okay, so they're basically permanently unlocked after yeah. the event. Yeah. So it's just yeah. So it's just a gigantic waste of time. Yeah. Wow. Eventually. <laughs> and um, of oh, of course, we need to talk more specifically uh, if we go back to this page. We need to talk more specifically about what you get. Oh boy, games. yeah. Here we go. So different games get awesome unlocks. I mean, DDR oh. got what Nageki and. Jomanda. Yeah, Jomanda, and all these fucking awesome songs. What does 2DX... And they ended up getting challenge charts, too. What? Oh, really? Oh, my God, and that's not awesome. only, not only that, but, like, every single one of the unlocks is an actual song. Yeah. So what did 2DX get? Six songs. Oh, so... Event unlocked. Yay. 2DX got screwed over. <laughs> 2DX and UB got completely dicked. Yeah. yeah. So, so tell us, tell us what we get for the first unlock for the first pyramid piece, right, which so, is what I got. Uh, let's see. What is the first one? I can't read. It. The first one like... is fully unlocked Tricoro. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> my, if if somehow my, by some miracle you didn't have all of Tricoro unlocked, you get it now. <laughs> it's like oh boy, oh boy, I can get all of the Tricoro songs which I already have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then, just to add insult to injury, you get the <laughs> Minna no Uchu Senso completely unlocked. Oh Space boy! Wars. Oh just, yeah! Just, just, just in case you didn't finish Space Wars a year yeah, and a half ago, oh, yeah, you yeah. can get that fully unlocked. So now you got Space Wars. Okay, you're set. <laughs> then you get Schwartz Child Field, which is the like, worst we'll talk about ever. It. We'll talk about it <laughs> next segment. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Schwartz Child Field. What, what's the next one? Okay, then. You thought you were done with, like, the unlocks of other games and shit, no? Nope. You've got fucking Cafe de Tran and fucking <laughs> Dumani Gakuen to unlock. So those are unlocked. Oh, yeah, God. hype. Get Finally! Hype. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I've been program. waiting for so long. Oh, that man. is so dicks that they give That's you only... such a dick. They, they just give you past event unlocks yeah. as the unlocks wait, of this wait, event. Wait, I gotta ask, though. To be fair, like, are those unlocks, like, any more 
grindy on 2DX than they would be any other game? Nope. <laughs> really uh, not. No, not really. No. no. It's just Konami saying, well, I don't want to port any other songs. We've already got a pretty full list, so let's... Yeah, Wait, good job. Is it, it, is it even hard to unlock all this stuff from Chai Coral anyway? Like, uh, no, I just need a hundred points to have it. it. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's, it's not. It's not. But, like, I think the Space Wars event, the time, is ran out, so, like, they had to reintroduce something so that there was a way to unlock it. Like, I don't think it's really? currently unlockable without this event. I and thought, because I thought before it was like by DJ points to just give you songs. Like, you know what this actually means, though? They might finally be done with all the past unlocks for now, for 2DX. Uh, um, yeah, I, 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 like, I think that's Like how Linko Link ran for like three fucking styles. Yeah. I don't know how Linko Link lasted so long. No, it was just fucking dumb <laughs> shit. Mind. So, so yeah, basically 2DX got massively shafted and so did you beat. Can, well, at least they're caught up, and now they can actually put real unlocks out, maybe. Hopefully. I mean, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I mean, honestly. Oh, Alright, so let's uh, let's move on from, because we've basically covered how the event works and how terrible the uh, the system was and what we got. But let's talk about what we got. So there's, what, four or five new songs? Uh, six total. Six yeah, total. Six. So um, let's discuss... Let's discuss the uh, the new song, starting with the first unlock, good old Sports Child Field. Uh, so Sports Child Field, let's go. Uh, what do you guys think of Sports Child Field? Hardest song that EX hard player. It's, it's probably the worst song LED has made, and it's probably the hardest 11 EX hard player. Yeah, just because that one stupid section. Uh, I think Brainstorm's harder, but that's just because I'm bad at Scratch. <laughs> I don't think Brainstorm necessarily harder. I think you just have to learn it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fair enough. It's it's you gotta play it's kind it more than like five times, yeah. But yeah. That's what Child Field is just arts. Awesome. It's got what? Like the the Jack section leading into It's just, so like, stupid this... because the rest of this chart is like a ten at most. And then all yeah, of a sudden there's one section that's like one of the hardest twelves. It's like, oh let's put the twenty fourth <laughs> in the Geki in a fucking eleven <laughs> for like these three bars. And make it be impossible to clear. Okay, that's a good chart, guys. <laughs> Pack it up. That's a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck yeah. are you calling my? What about you, Derek? I mean, you've, you've obviously got it. You've ex hard for it. But, uh, what do you think of the? Chart? It took it took me a bunch of tries just because really? like you just got to you know if you just get a bad drum roll on that part, that's it's true, like okay. That's true. Well, it's I think, over. I think for me it took me like four tries, but I got really really lucky. I got so lucky and got. Uh, yeah, like, I saw you do it at uh, Nova. Yeah. I, yeah. fl I flatlined though, I was like 2%. <laughs> I came out of that with 2%, I was like, oh shit! Yeah, I, I don't I know how that, many attempts I put into it, but I did it in a premium free, so... Oh yeah, same. I think I maybe did 6 or 7 total. Wow, yeah. Jesus. I did the, I, the, the, the time I got EX Heartplay, I think I got like one combo break too. Oh my wow, god. Fuck you. Dude, seriously. I did it in like 3 tries, and somehow I managed to mash a 6-7 roll really well. <laughs> like, just, I, was, I was blown uh, away. Fuck. Like, I saw it and I was like, this is not happening, and then just, <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, uh, it's done. I, I honestly think Sports Child Field is one of the worst charts. Oh, I think game. so. Like, I think it's Head insane. down. If that one part didn't exist, it would be a lot better. It'd be alright. If I just oh, made yeah. it a 10 without the like one, yeah, it would be fun. And I would have played it. Or but like, now... why not Why not make the whole chart more consistent in difficulty instead of it being this one burst of bullshit? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's it's come by. That's why it's like an. I just I'd rather. I just rather do the Black Knight. So yeah, exactly. So it's the just, song's actually fun. Yeah, Black Knight's actually a good. Good Black chart. Knight's actually good. Yeah. Yeah, like they did it right there. It's just Swartz Childfield. What the fuck is that's that? Matt, Matt loves Swartz Childfield. <laughs> <laughs> Matt loves like, Swartz Childfield. It's a good song. I don't love Swartz Childfield. I think it's a good song. I don't think it's amazing. I <laughs> kick him out of the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, before, before we go to blows, let's let's move on to the next the next song. Uh, what was the next unlock out of curiosity after Sports Kaiser Phoenix. What? Uh, Kaiser Phoenix. I Kaiser Phoenix. Let's talk about Kaiser Phoenix, guys. Kaiser Matt. Yeah, Kaiser <laughs> Matt, yeah. I hate the chart I and I think the song doesn't belong in 2DX. I I agree with that. Yeah. I, I remember that hearing match. Yeah, Matt said that he played it like with headphones in with no sound just to try and score. No, that was Common Break, not this. Oh, okay. Not Kaiser Phoenix. <laughs> oh, we'll get to Common Break later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Okay, uh, I, I actually think that chart's pretty fun. 
Kaiser Phoenix. Kaiser Phoenix. Yeah, I've yeah, played I mean, it. I've played it and gotten a couple good randoms, and when it was good, it was fun. But there's so many randoms that are so dicks that yeah. it's just really frustrating because the jacks yeah. just come in these stupid places and they throw you off, and then you're like, oh, fuck this shit. Or you get I like the worst rolls in the, in the in the latter half, and you're like, fuck. I still haven't seen Kaiser Phoenix at all. Is it an 11 or a 12? Oh, it's 12. 12. Oh, okay. I think it's... I honestly got lucky because I hard cleared it on a site. And oh, yeah. the, the, wow. first enti- the, ha- the first half of the chart was a slap. Oh, damn. Okay. So I ended up comboing up to about 800 or so. And then it's like the last half of it's like just all these like weird chords with like first thrown in. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. And, this, like and there's that like. There's like the chord rolls, and then there's that twenty fourth shit like stuck in there somewhere. Yeah, it just like, fucks you up. Ugh. Yeah, pretty much. Like I almost failed because of the end. I think it's probably honestly about as hard as the flux to art here. The flux? Oh, wow. the flux really random dependent. Yeah, that's right. Like, it's kind of hard to. Yeah. Then I, again, so, I, then I, again, I, so is I Kaiser Phoenix. Oh, so. okay. yeah. well, I guess Kaiser Phoenix is harder to score on. That's for sure. Because oh, okay. there's so much like random like. Like weird fucking things they throw in, like for no fucking reason. Yeah. Be- because of my sight read, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna finally like triple A at 12 on a sight read, and then the end, it's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can't, you oh can God. get frauds at the end though, where like it, it breaks up like perfectly, and it's just like, oh, here comes plus 100. <laughs> I actually have gotten like a slap random in the whole beginning, and the ending was like just the worst thing. I've oh yeah, ever. no, yeah, you can't get it at the beginning. If you get it at the beginning, the yeah. end is shit. That's but the same as like, flux. Like yeah. if you get a, a slap at the start of a flux, it's like GG the end. Yeah. So yeah. I'm guessing they've done that on purpose though, just so that there's not not so much deviation in the score. You're not just fishing for a good random. Because if you think about stuff like the Geki, where the whole thing is a slap, if you get the slap. <laughs> Like, I, I'm guessing they didn't want that to happen anymore, so they've like layered the notes specifically so that the slap doesn't come through the whole chart. Because if you think about it, think of the flux and think of well now, like Kaiser Phoenix. Like I think they're deliberately doing it just so that it's not. Yeah, I think as so too. Yeah, man, an- an- another another chart that's like that is a uh, is fucking nine. Yeah. There's just uh, like there's always gonna be like a few bad parts in that chart, no matter yeah. what. Cool. Yeah. The ending in the beginning is like completely different, pretty much. Yeah. But I think it's good that they've done that, because it means that a lot of charts are less random dependent. Yeah. I mean, they need to do that. It's yeah. Oh, it's, it's very good. So, alright, so we've done Kaiser of Phoenix. Uh, what was the last one? Was it uh, Umekami? Or Wada Tsumiya. Wada Tsumiya. Wada I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, that's alright. Derek disappeared just for Derek, a Derek getting his call from uh, Nagisa. He's got to answer that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah. Um, what it's me. Tell me about what it's me because I haven't seen the chart. Matt, your thoughts first. I haven't played it. Oh what? Oh, okay. I haven't unlocked it. I, I've I haven't been able to play really since Japan. So. Uh, oh yeah, he can't go to Super either because they're closed right now. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. closed. So. Yeah. All right. Wow. I'll play it like a week. Okay. All right. So in a week. Who else has play. played it? Uh, Don's played it. All right. Don played, played it. Yeah. Okay. Don, your thoughts. Um. Well, besides the fact that I love the chart and the song, um, it reminds me a lot like Adelari. Adelari, huh? Okay, what about yeah. you, Tyske? What do you think? Is it Adelari? It, 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 it didn't remind me of Adelari. Like, maybe insofar as the charge notes, but... Yeah. Uh, it's it's decently fun enough, I think. Like, it's, yeah? it's not hard as 12s go. I mean, if you don't like charge notes, you're not going to like it, though. And, like, I oh, know okay. so many Japanese players don't like charge notes. I mean, people like JD on shit, they just I, like... Fuck. I watched the chart, and it kind of looks like there's some annoying scratches in the beginning. Oh, there are. are. Oh, yeah, oh, right, right, thank you for reminding me, yeah. That's the only yeah. thing I don't like about the chart, and I think that they should have not done. The, the... Did they just throw in random scratches like they yeah. did for Legendarius? Oh, yes, yeah, they, did. they did. Oh, God, it has this really annoying part yeah. that's going to kill right. the EX hard probably a lot if you don't yeah. get it first try. It's, um... Somewhere near the middle-ish end, there's a part with like a charge note chord, and you have like a scratches going on. Yes, it. and some regular notes what? in the middle. Yeah, wow. that's yeah. like the only hard part of the chart. Yeah. Like, song, oh, oh, we're, we're talking about what is to me. Yeah. yeah. That's basically wrist scratch heaven right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Derek, how, what do you think of what is to me? That's actually a really, it's, it's a really fun chart. I like yeah. it. Yeah, no, everyone, everyone's on a grades that it's probably... Would you say it's the it's best... Still, it's the only appealing thing of the event. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, it looks like the only the, good... It's probably, like, the best song in the event, to be honest. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that's fair. 
by far. So good. You know, it just it looks so much better than all the other stuff that's come out. Yeah. So. I mean, I personally you know. find it kind of hard to score on, so I find it kind of frustrating. But it looks really it looks good. swung. I mean, I saw Don's first attempt of it on stream actually. And it's. Uh, apart from the beginning, where it's kind of like the Tamayura shit, where it's yeah. just like weird time, yeah. it's it, it's not swung. It's all 16 seconds Oh, okay. All right, well, that's good oh. to hear. All right, so it is like quite fun. But I just find it Solid. like kind of slow. I I don't know why. Like the BPM is really not that low, but I just find it really slow. So I keep hitting. I everything think I'm like... the same way because when I start, yeah. when I first played it a couple of times, I was getting a ton of bass on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it is okay. So maybe like the sinking. Maybe the sink song. Like, yeah, really... I'd say it would probably come down to the sink if everyone's getting fast on it. Yeah, maybe. So maybe they've synced it wrong. You never know. Come my being, come my. Come my. Set it up. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're we're voting that best song in the in the unlock event. Yeah. Hands down. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to the the uh the timed songs now. Sure. I did actually get to play one of those songs as you guys saw. Uh, I uploaded. Me, Taisuke, and Matt's first try oh, of uh, Cleopetraism. Please delete my first try. Jesus no, God. it's beautiful. It's beautiful because we were all having an off day. We both say it's terrible, and then Matt comes along and like, I thought it was pretty good. Like a triple A. Uh, Matt, Matt, Matt thinks Sumito Bus is top <laughs> 10 duty. <laughs> yeah, it was not that bad. Okay, it's not like impossible. Okay, looking looking, no, looking back, it is it is not that bad. I not mean, the, I think song. I think it has been charted pretty poorly. The song still. is great. Yeah, I don't really good. remember the chart at all, honestly. Yeah. It's just it's pretty random dependent, and the end is really rough for an eleven. Yeah, well, not... yeah, yeah, kind of. I think that's where it's. Oh yeah, I, the end was kind of fun though. Like after, what the part where it's just like the the four note chords in the middle of that stream, I thought that was like the best part of the chart. Oh that, only, yeah, like... that part's actually kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, that part's actually kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. But well, that's, like, that, that that song is probably the best song out of the. The three time songs. Oh, of oh yeah. Course. The yeah. other two songs are just god freaking <laughs> awful. We'll, we'll get to the other songs. Oh, I'm playing Come. Don't, like, e don't even talk about the other songs. All you have to say about it is, like, don't play them. Yeah, basically don't <laughs> play them. They're garbage. We'll, we'll, we'll they're get to them. Garbage. I mean, I want to focus on Cleopatraism at the moment. I just want to hear what you guys thought of it. Because, I mean, honestly, it's the kind of chart which. What, what, was, the, what was the thing that you were talking about in Piano Ties here? A fugue? A fugue or whatever? What? Where it's just. What is it? It's not a few. We were talking about it like it's a, a piano song Just, that's made specifically to practice certain. Yeah, yeah, to practice certain oh, skills. Oh, oh, an etude. Okay, no, an sorry, etude. an etude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's basically it's like an etude show. of a two of two D X. Yeah, like, I think that's like, fair to say. It's, it's, it just tests a certain skill set, and yeah. it's not like a super good song, but I mean, it's it fills a nice gap, I think. Yeah, like I think I, if you practiced it a few times, it would actually improve your timing quite. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Because like it, it's got the twenty fourths in there, and when you random them, they're gonna all look like shit. And then you've got like twenty fourths mixed in with sixteenths and like yeah, yeah. scratches here and there and stuff. It's but like it's it's it's, it's varied. Oh. That's one the good yeah. thing about the chart. It's varied. Oh, yeah. a lot of that from that chart. What? Sorry. What? I don't know. Any of that from that chart? Oh, okay. Well, obviously you didn't play well, it. Well, you need to play it more. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I think honestly they should have made it a bit harder and made it a twelve. Yes. Why? Just, why in all call my events, like yeah. literally every other song, like every every song in like every game is like pretty much the max level or one under. Like okay, yes, yeah, eleven yeah. is like. Yeah, I remember seeing. Level. I remember seeing Cleopatra's on U beat. That was fucking stupid. Yeah, it's uh, impossible on U. And then you point on two D X. You're like, well, this is kind of underwhelming. Mm -hmm. Like, I think they're trying to stretch out on. Um, 11s in 2DX right now. Cause they did it with Tricora, where they put in like a ton of 12s. Yeah, yeah but that was And it's like, now it's like, if you look at Spada, there's like barely any 12s compared to 11s. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, maybe they are trying to sort of even it out and give more 11s the transition. But even then, I mean, I, I feel like the 11s folder is already fleshed out enough. Like, they don't, don't really need, do yeah, they don't really and, need to add. Like, let's face it, 11s are like a really limited difficulty because under you have tens and above you have twelves so you can't really fill it too much there's like a saturation point whereas twelves can go as high as you like they just need they just need to damn rate the game already yeah okay that yeah, too yeah, that that's that's long overdue but I think go up, I mean, they gotta they just have to re-rate the fucking twelves like, yeah the twelves really need overdoing twelves is the are the is the only group that it's so fucking like 
Yeah. Lights. Yeah. And like, yeah. From Ed, like, every song, you got fucking, like, A and other, then you have fucking, like, nine. It's like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, these are the same difficulty, like, guys. Yeah, exactly the same. One, one is obviously way freaking harder than the other. <laughs> yeah, man. A, yeah. a is fucking hard as 12. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Alright, so uh, let, let us move from Clear Petrus into the next song. What's it called again? I've forgotten what it is. Okay, I'll read it. It's Gosenja Meditation. Okay, Senja means a thousand hands, so it's like that like Indian god shit with like the fucking okay. hands shit going on. I don't know. Okay, so thousand hand meditation. Yeah. Um, and the I haven't song seen this is cut just as terrible as it sounds. <laughs> yeah. It is so awful. And then it yeah. has so like less of a reason to play it. Yeah. Like it, it's it's so awful. Like the song itself, like even if you just looked up the song and you listened to it, you'd be like Song's pretty fucking bad. Then you play yeah. it, and the chart is also atrociously bad. <laughs> so put the two of them together, and you puke while playing it halfway through, and fail as a result. What? <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, has everyone played it? Because I'm, I'm just curious. Yeah. Oh I've yeah, it's, it. the, it's that one but that has that uh, that stupid start 150 BPM. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. And oh yes, and you have the BPM change at the beginning. <laughs> Like, could it get any worse? I don't think so. Uh, okay, okay, let's... This change is also really awkward, too, because it goes into a swung rhythm. Wow. So it doesn't yeah. feel like it changes immediately. Jeez, that sounds fun. Derek, have you triple light it? Yeah, no, I, no, I played it once and never played it again. I don't, I don't, <laughs> that song is just so bad. Same here. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, I have, like, a low triple A, and I'm like, I'm I, I, not, I'm not I even going to play it again. Bad, <laughs> it's horrible. I just didn't think it was anything, like, special. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of there. It's kind of there. It's just kind like, of if I, if I get it, if I go into eleven folder and random it, then it's like then I'll play it. But I'm yeah. not gonna act. So like, how often? You're never gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So you're probably never gonna play it again. Because you might get stuck playing that I, song. I saw That's why you told me it's random. All right, so um, here's the kicker question: What is worse, that one or Calm and Break? Calm and Break, Calm and Break by a long shot. Matt, I Calm actually don't agree. I actually think Meditation is worse than Calm and Break. Like, I know it's I it's, it's hard to compare like <laughs> twenty day old stinking shit and like ten day old stinking shit. But like, <laughs> if you have to compare shit to shit, I actually think Meditation's I, worse, just personally. I think Calm and Break belongs in like two DX bottom ten. Yeah, like, I'd, I'd say bottom 10. I can definitely agree with bottom 20. It's just, there, there's so many bad songs. Along with Castle and Matt and, and Mint Fret Rager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Actually, Wait, you don't agree that it's a bad song? No, I think no, it's a bad song. Break is horrible. Yeah, it's okay, horrible. there you go. <laughs> I just think like, the meditation's I, even worse. Yeah. Maybe the I think part. Common Break would actually be good if there were, like, no chanting. Chanting? Yeah, cause, like that's what just kills the song for me. It's like there's people like kind of singing it. Oh yeah, the part where it's like Sue, think, Sue. It's like <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Holy I think, shit! I think if it I wouldn't mind the song. Yeah, I, I, I like don't even first time I like, like, like what? Sorry. No, uh, like the first time I played that song, I think it was so bad my nose got horribly itchy and I just ex hard failed. <laughs> like, yeah. I just. Like, my nose got the mo like, it was the itchiest, like, the itchy nose mod came on, the hardest mod in the game, to just, to just tell me, this song sucks. Yeah. Um, I'm curious about the actual chart, though, I mean, it, it looks very terrible. similar to, it looks like the floor. The chart is awful. No, the chart's chart cool. just terrible, it's, well, what does it have? It has, like, it has the it's terrible, just... like, 16 scratches plus roll. Ugh. So every okay. time you it play it on like... random, you're gonna get one, two with scratch, of course. Cause your name's X. Then there's like a there's like a part where you got to do a hold scratch and a bunch of stuff. So yeah, it's fuck just that. it's just annoying. Like it's just the stupidest shit. Fuck it. It's, it's not fun stuff. at all. No, it's not fun. Yeah. What about you, Don? Do you like Come and Break? Probably. Again, I don't know what the chart looks like. I thought you played it. I have. I've played everything. I've played all the charts on every difficulty right now. Yeah. But I I don't remember what they are because it's not something I'm like gonna play actively. It's really it's. What odds to me is like the only one. I'm thinking. Yeah, what odds to me sounds like the only good thing that has come out of the event. So. It's like all the others I kind of already forgot they existed. 
Yeah, yeah. same actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So good job, Konami, on making a very memorable event, you know, yeah, I mean, it's... for this, if you think about it, we had like, Bermani Academy, great event, uh, yeah. Space Wars, grindy as shit, but really great See, songs came out of it. You know what they should have done, in place of the, in, instead of just, we could have gotten the six songs and I would have been fine with it, if they had Legendaria charts for company, <laughs> instead of those events. Yep. Yeah. If they so had, the that three, would be a good the thing, three yeah. event unlocks could have been Legendaria charts. If it was like it Feel the Beat, Shippu Jindai, and the Flux Legendaria, I would have been all yeah, over that. Yeah, it would have worked out perfectly. Yeah, there's, there better, is yeah. going to be no Legendarios for those songs already. Yeah. Honestly, be I, well, besides the fact that I don't think there will be, I think the Legendaria charts in Spotter right now aren't even going to exist in Pendulum. <laughs> Yeah, I'm worried that, about that. Well, no, no, the thing is, you do get discs. You do get discs in Pendulum. So, you yeah. will still have access to the Legendaria folder. Cause awesome. when so that folder is not going to be on, what is it, actually unlockable, that's great. Yeah, no, it's not unlockable, it's it's still the same thing, you got to pay per sale and use it, so. Unless they have that for something else. You never know, I mean. Man, I would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would think they would make it, like, in the next style, they'll just make it playable. Yeah. But you still got to pay the fucking. For selling, yeah. They'll just like name the they'll just name the folder something else or something. Yeah. I don't know. Why do you why do you make unlock like cross styles? Because dumb. it's Konami. And Come on, look at Link Link. Ever That's since three years of they power. just started doing that. They just want your money. That's just, yeah. that's all it is. <laughs> like yeah, exactly. All right. I mean, I'll... Like... Sorry. Uh, final thing for this segment that I wanted to ask. Um, you said that there's a timer going down, right, Taisuke, to zero, and then everything will be unlocked? Yeah, the count, yeah, the count. Like, each time you un you awaken a song, yeah. or each time everybody awakens a song, that count yeah. goes down by one. Yeah. Like, it's, do you it started think, at ten. Uh, do you think there's a secret boss at the end? Um, there gotta be. I don't think there will be. I would be really surprised if there wasn't, because I find Call My tends not to... Uh, announce every single song in their thing. Like, during the last, or maybe two before, uh, like the yeah. Bimani live stream thing, they actually introduced all three of these timed unlock songs, and I was like, oh, okay, so they're introducing like half the event. They ended up in introducing like the entire event. Yeah. So okay. I would be really surprised if there was no secret after, and it's just, okay, yeah. guys, that's it. Uh, I would but, be surprised. I mean, here's the thing, like, Program World has all the data for this event already. Hmm. So and there's nothing? There's nothing. Oh. Well, so... I remember... It could be in a future thing. Like, yeah, this yeah. This is like a part one. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, could be I mean, they, they, I mean, they did that shit with Zerk feed, that's why where yeah, they yeah. released Space yeah, Wars. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I feel so like they... it's going to be a Zerk feed treatment, if anything. Yeah, they, yeah. they need time for Mitsuru to prepare his next bombshell song <laughs> to be the final boss of the event. This is next big hit. And it'll it'll be so. like a, it'll be like a 12 in like every, I mean it'll be like the equivalent of a 12 in every other song but 2DX where it'll be a 9. Yeah, it'll just be a 9 because <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. Now it'll be like a difficulty 12. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like idol all over again. Wait, wasn't wasn't 9 like a kind of like that? Didn't they release that yeah, like after? Yes, they did. It was Yeah, they did. So, you never know. I mean, I'm guessing there might be an extra part to the event, because they will milk it. I'm, I'm pretty it sure, because, I mean, even, like, Elemental Creation is like that, too. Like, yeah, know, every every like event system. has to be like that. Confusory was just, like, after you unlock everything, it's like, oh, here's Confusory. Yeah. Yeah. And so, then, and so I think people probably thought Confusory was it, but then, like, that's it. And then, like, they were like, oh, Elemental. Bam. Yeah. So that was... Oh, that was no, 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 Confusory was some Cafe de Tran, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Elemental was from a uh, Bimani uh, Academy. Yeah, Bimani Academy. They all so, yeah. I mean, that was good. They're all shit. <laughs> <laughs> the events, I mean, the songs are good. Yeah, no, no. I was, I was really, good. I was really happy with those, the songs that came out of those events. I think oh, awesome. same. Just the current events really haven't given anything worthwhile. Trikoro events were way better. Yeah, Trikoro events were so much better yeah. than those ones. So. I mean, here's what I don't get. Like, when I'm more willing to play default songs, like, I don't know, fucking Electric Euphoria or yeah, yeah. Know, La Festa La Vida or something, I don't know, anything. That's... When I'm more willing to play default songs than the Over unlock the songs, you know you've done it yeah. wrong. 
<laughs> yeah, basically, I don't know. I feel I, I, folder, I basically play pretty much only the default songs. Yeah, the vanilla yeah. songs are the best songs. It's just like, like it started out so strong. Yeah, I know. I was, was like, wow, there's good things to come, shit. and then the things came, and now I'm just disappointed. Yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like most of the songs in like the event songs though, they're like, pretty bad. Yeah, no, yeah. man, that's just that's just me. But no, honestly, I agree. Everyone agrees. Like, so, like, most of the 10s and 11s are pretty awful, except, like, you know, like a, like the, a few. The occasional one or two. Like, maybe, yeah, the occasional, I like, think, one or two. Like, Into the Battlefield. And yes. even then, that's, that's a standard you. event. That is, yeah. that is, like, the, the Sparta event. That's not, like, the Unlock events event. Yeah, I mean, even, like, Q-Pro, like, the, honestly, the best part of that was, like, the CS song. Yeah, Every the CS song's are the best was, thing. Like, Everything else is garbage. Pretty, pretty awful. I mean, like, Alfari is good, but... Yeah. Yeah. The rest of the songs are pretty whatever. I mean, okay, Into the Battlefield as well. And that's Into like, the yeah. Battlefield, yeah. That was really, really good. But Into the Battlefield then you're was like the guns. only... Oh, that and Elphelia were the, and the CS and the Unlocks were the only reason yeah. I actually played Cooper Punk. Like. <laughs> the rest of them, you just like, well, fuck this stuff. Oh, yeah. and Hypersonic. Hypersonic was high. Oh. CS Hypersonic's kind of boring. The chart. Yeah, the chart's kind of... okay. Boring. Like, it's like, good. I like the... I like it. Songs, oh, songs it's... Really it's yeah, man. Yeah. If it has one, two, three, four, five, six, do it. It's a good song. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Can't get wrong with or, or if it has a gangster rap. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, right. four, five, six. So, two. is there anything else you guys want to or mention? Or if it's Happy Lucky Fate. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that yeah, that's, or, if that's, it's, or if it's anything by Brim. <laughs> best song. Um, anything else you guys want to say about the event, or anything else you want to add? Yeah, it sucks. It yeah, sucks. okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So, it's a waste of it, man. Pretty, pretty disappointing. Okay, well, I guess we'll move on to diagram number three now. Thanks for going if you'd be so sure. kind. Yes. Um, so I was browsing through VODs the other day on Twitch, and I came across this little thing, which I'm pretty sure Donovan posted on Facebook, which is uh, one of Systems videos, which is now completely muted. And uh, I was skeptical. I thought, okay, we're, we're a small community. I don't think Twitch is really going to crack down on 2DX stuff, but it has happened. Um, some of Systems' videos have been muted. I haven't checked mine. Like, none of mine have been muted, as far as I can tell. But I'm just wondering, has anyone checked back through their replays and seen if their videos have been muted? I haven't yet. Yeah. And yeah. I've been thinking about it. Isn't Mosaic, isn't the song itself, like, tied to Konami in some way? I'm not sure. That's the thing. Because I remember hearing, like, Mosaic, like, the melody in it had something to do with Konami never noticed that before I, yeah, I, so that might be a reason it might detect something in there but okay. regardless um, yeah it's I'm still probably going to be streaming on hitbox for now okay so you're obviously moving to hitbox um have what about the rest of you guys like have you considered moving from twitch yet i want to go to hitbox uh, yeah i mean i'm yeah, I fine either way i mean so long as hitbox is user friendly for it so is. streaming streaming noob like Eric. me it really doesn't matter where i stream so long as it's easy to do it i guess Oh, okay. Because... And I, I, if I'm streaming BMS, and obviously that shit isn't going to get taken down. So. Yeah, no. <laughs> and I yeah, usually only stream BMS. Look at the Chinese piano song. <laughs> one oh, of, yeah. One, of, one of those piano awful. synths has to be similar to something else. Like... Oh, yeah. No, I think I think it's that voice sample, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It has to be the voice sample. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just everything in that song. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I, I'm i just, like, I haven't moved because A, I'm taking the Derek approach, I'm just really lazy, and two, oh, yeah, like, I'm just, you know, changing things around, you know, like, I'm just not very good at, like, dealing with change, so I'll eventually move, I think, but, because I'm so well, established. After, after going to Hitbox, I watched a couple streams, or I watched, um, I watched that guy DJ Bonds, I watched him stream on Hitbox. Yeah. And I watched a few people who were like speedrunners uh, stream on Twitchbox or Hitbox. And there's no delay, which is a really nice thing, so you can always keep up with the chat. That's good. Um, That's really good. They have this. They also have a thing which I really like called teams, where yeah. you can make like your own team and group people with, like a similar uh, type of uh, gaming. Community Hang on. Into uh, one group, and you can always see when they're streaming. And you can yeah. uh, see all the videos they've had, and you, it's, it's a really convenient way to keep up instead of having okay. to follow the individual. Well, that, that sounds good actually. I do like that 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 aspect of it. It's just yeah, obviously, you know, I, it'll take some time just to transition across to it. And I think most people will probably do it. Just yeah, initially, initially I was gonna stream today, but apparently this was today, and I yeah. thought it was tomorrow. So yeah, I'll, sorry, sorry I'll, about that, man. Yeah. Uh, my I'll bad. Please stream tomorrow if I go to play. So. Okay. 
Oh, I'm very stuff. curious to see like how it does fare compared to Twitch. I mean, do you think? Don't that... lie, because I mean, everyone that's streamed on it so far says it's, it's a bit better than Twitch. Okay. So I guess well, I'll see how it is. Uh, what about you, Taisuke? Are you gonna move? Um, well, now that everyone, uh, well, Don explained it seems better and has better features, I mean, sure, why not? I mean, to me, there's really nothing tying me to Twitch if it's just convenient. So if yeah, Xbox yeah. is also conven equally convenient, then I'll just switch. I mean, the thing is, yeah. I, I never, I haven't streamed that much, so I don't have to, like, figure out all my VODs and be like, oh, you know, what am I going to do about them? Like, yeah, that's, I, just, that's I don't even have them titled, they're just fucking in there. <laughs> Untitled yeah, broadcast honestly, number like, five. I, I guess I've been fine because I just uploaded mine directly to YouTube. Yeah. Like yeah. right after I highlight them, so it's like that's, if they get that's what I've been doing just to make sure yeah. they don't get they don't get muted. I just put them straight on YouTube, but I mean I don't think that's had an issue thus far. Well, so. if they get muted on Twitch, they'll get muted on YouTube. Oh goddamn! Some sort. Of stuff. <laughs> yeah. I really don't. But I mean the thing is, like with with such a small drop in the ocean, like I'm surprised. That... Yeah, this 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 uh this hitbox Twitch thing, it it affects people uh who are like more prominent users in yeah, Twitch. Yeah. Stuff, like, because I guess there's issues with, like, actually subscribers, and now people are, like, telling people not to subscribe to their channel, and, like, if they want to, like, show support or something, they can just donate to them directly, so... Yeah, it's kind of messy. It, it's it's a bigger people. fiasco for people, like, bigger Twitch users than it is for, like, oh, But yeah. it's still, I mean, the fact that some videos have been getting muted, because I know there's apparently BDR videos that got muted. Too. That's crazy. So it's like the fact that those are getting muted. I mean, it, it's really yeah. it's, it wouldn't get, it wouldn't hurt to move the hitbox. Yeah, I'm guessing hitbox. I mean, it's all it's all user preference. So yeah, no, absolutely. So I agree with you there, and I probably will make the move. I've got an account, it's just I haven't set it up. So if anyone can give me a hand, just like tell me how to set that shit up. That'd it's, be good. It's really easy to set up uh, hitbox. Actually, like making an account takes like two seconds. Yeah, well, I've, I've got the account done, it's just like, obviously getting Um, there, there's a page that kind of explains it. Yeah. And, um, you can just go to your account, and then you can, like, set everything there. And it's, okay. It's, it's all, like, there for you, so. It's right. a lot more convenient. You have to jump around pages like you do on Twitch to find, like, your stream key or whatever. So yeah, that shit was annoying. So. I hated that so much. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so what about you, Matt? Are you ever gonna stream again? Like, um, I've... I've lost my webcam because I was borrowing it from a friend and he kind of took it back. So, uh, like, <laughs> I don't have a webcam, so once I get one, yeah. like, I'll start streaming again. And when I do, it'll be on uh, Hitbox. Don't you not have a DAO right now? No, I have a DAO. Oh, I thought Dickie was borrowing it. Yeah, he's borrowing my RES because, like, it has an arson in it. Ah, uh, okay. So, so you're just playing on the FPS, which is perfectly fine. Yeah. I mean, it's what I'm playing on, so... Actually, you just reminded me, i got to get my RES back from Goku. So. That's the best controller, though. I love the FPS. Yeah, the FPS is great. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's really, like, it's I also don't really know. good for PMS. My, my favorite it, uh, aspect about it is the fact that you can adjust the... The, the distance. Of, the distance is yeah. great. Like, That's the best part, yeah. It's so, it's so nice. Yeah. Alright, so now that we've covered uh, streaming stuff, so obviously moving to your is probably a good move. Um, I wanted to bring up streams, and uh, obviously because of the streaming community, you started the league, the Italian league of Giovanni, which uh, was super, super successful. So uh, on that topic, I think Don had an idea for <laughs> Don had an idea for a new league, uh, which he wanted to share with you guys now. So I'll yeah, hand it to you again, Don. It's still a work in progress. But this is a league that's that's different from the one Giovanni and I had before. Um, it's not a weekly sport thing. It's sort of a more pick up and go as you please type thing. So you're not obligated to like play matches unless you schedule one with someone. But it works in a ladder format. So yeah. basically, once you qualify, you're placed into a tier with like a bunch of other people, and you just you do ladder matches. So basically, you can challenge anyone who's two spots above or below you. And if you like, if you challenge someone above you, you win, then you can take their spot, move up in the ladder. And it also, let me see, there's a few other uh, game variants. So it's not just strictly like EX score based, and it's not just strictly like a best of like three or five or whatever match. Yeah. You can all, it, there are combo based variants as well. So I have one planned where it's like you do kind of like a best of five or whatever. 
but it's based on whoever has the lowest miscount wins that song. That's interesting. I also have another one that's a uh, it's a uh, first to specific ex amount. <laughs> that's so a good one. Like, so basically, like you can set whatever ex amount you want. Like, say you want to do matches until someone hits a ten thousand ex threshold. So you'll just go back and forth selecting songs until someone hits ten thousand. Whoever hits ten thousand first wins. And I had another one that was on. Um, it was like that, but with miscount as well. So basically. The first person to reach a certain miscount loses. So say like you set it to like 500 miscount. First person to hit 500 miscount loses the match. Oh wow! Okay. And then I had another variant that kind of incorporated both, which was force. Yeah. I mean, ev ev everyone pretty much knows how force works, but yeah. say like player one selects a song, they hard clear it with a thousand ex score. Player two has to either ex hard clear the song or get one thousand and one ex on it. And if they okay. do either of those, the other player gets like a leather, and you do that basically to force do it however uh, many matches you want to do. Like, yeah. say you want to three matches or ten matches, something like that. So. Oh, yeah. But all of these are a bit more stream oriented. I want people who have streaming capability to enter more than people who don't. I mean, I will allow it just so it's like anyone can participate. But the thing is, in a format like this, you need a lot of coordination. So it makes it harder if you're not streaming with someone or people can't like keep up or something. Yeah. Because you have to constantly be uh, coordinating with, with people like over Facebook or something. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You need to have this song, especially if you're in arcade and on a time line. Yeah, so obviously, so it's not so, limited to just pace on people. Yeah, players I, I want to make in. it more like, I want to make it more uh, broadcasted, I guess. Because I yeah. want it to be like, oh, well, there's a match going on. Let's see who's going to win between these two. You can just pull up like multi Twitch or multi Hitbox, watch the two matches simultaneously, and then you can see it in real time. So you I can think win. it's it's a really good idea, and I think that was the real appeal of when I used to do tournaments like yeah. you back, because it was live. You could actually see people's performances. And um, yeah, I think it's a great way of keeping that going. And um, coming personally from doing like matches with Taisuke and Matt. It, it is really, really fun playing with someone live. Like, you guys will yeah, agree with me. It's... Like, I, w I was thinking of doing something like that, like just having kind of a one on one, but I kind of turned it into this ladder thing in the past week. Well, I think the ladder thing's good incentive so, because if you're raised yeah. and it actually means something, not like uh, yeah. the old league where, you know. It's... So, I'm going to actually like make like an official post within the next couple of weeks when I get things more settled. Oh, that sounds really good. Have like a group set up for it. Yeah. Um, I do need people who are interested. And helping out with it, and I'll kind of like run it by everyone who decides well, you've, to. Help. You've got my support. Like I'd absolutely love to help doing this because I, I okay. love doing school battles with people. I mean, as I said, the, like ties came back. I, and... I, I don't really know how many people I have helped yet. Maybe like just like three other people or so. That should be yeah. fine. So I mean, really, if there's anyone watching this and you want to help, just message me on Facebook or something. So yeah. All right. uh, what about you, Derek? Would you participate in this? Um. Well, I mean, like I said, I can't really stream from the arcade anymore because uh, they they pretty much blocked off the behind of the machine. So I I don't know if I could. I mean, I well, I would like, like to use on it. Like I said, you don't have to be able to stream to participate. It's more preferred that you do, just so we have as many live matches as possible to like archive and stuff. But I mean, as long as you have your score history unhidden and it's easy to track. Yeah. And like it shows that you played all these like songs simultaneously. Yeah, in the row. Yeah. That, I mean, you'll be fine. It's just you have to coordinate with whoever's challenging you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could so, I could just do it on a piece on too. I guess like, that I works too. Oh. So. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, so it's it's free for all. You don't have to be a streamer to join in. Which is... And I mean, there's 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 no obligation. I mean, you'll you'll keep your spot as long as you're in it, and no one challenges. Yeah. So it's I mean, like you you can drop it for a month and come back and decide to have a scheduled match and you'll still be. In the I, same I'm I'm curious about one thing actually. If you decline too many matches, do you automatically get lowered? That was another thing I thought of. And if you yeah. decline, if you decline three matches, and yeah, and lose your spot. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. 
Like I can understand one or two. But if if you have if you have specific reasoning to define, yeah, like you're gonna be out of town. So yeah, yeah. Like someone borrowing it, you won't have access, or if you have like some other sort of. Yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, that's that's reasonable. Yeah, that that won't be penalized against you. But if you're declining specifically, like oh, well, I'm gonna lose anyway, or something that. That's, that's just... yeah, yeah. Shit! <laughs> if, if Matt, if Matt ever decides to fuck me over, I'll just be like, "Oh, I have three declines left." Okay, here goes. <laughs> well, uh, well, I mean, if Matt's above you, like say Matt's the second spot, top tier, third spot, if he challenges you and you lose, then I mean, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, that's true. I so mean, it's just, if, it's but just if he for challenges fun. you three times in a row, then you move down. Right, right. Okay, yeah. So you control someone really hard and just keep challenging them, or is there a specific time between? Oh, challenges? I got it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like purposely be really shit at the beginning, just so <laughs> that I can steal as much rank off of Darks as possible. Just challenge him like twenty times <laughs> on like impossible twelves. Oh, wait, wait, wait. just be like, I, oh, I let's play May like three times. I, I kind of got that messed up actually. Yeah. It's not you. If you're if you're like the third spot, then if you. You can keep losing as many matches as you want from people above you, but yeah. if you lose this match below you, then you obviously move down. Yeah, so um, yeah. It, you wouldn't challenge it 20 times, bottom, like... At the bottom of the tier, and yeah. you lose three matches Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so can I just take my spot once, and then that's oh, it. Oh, that's so lame. I oh, so can like, I just, like... Oh. Can I just like wait to wait till Matt gets to the top and just challenge him from like last you can, place? Actually, yep. you can actually. <laughs> also, you yeah. can also only challenge two spots above her. Yeah, so it's not hard to climb up. Make it a fair lead. So you can't you can't just go into like another tier and be like, I'm gonna challenge you and make you lose or something. Yeah. It's, it's it's to keep it a little more balanced, I guess. So there's not as much like flip flop. Yeah, no, but that's I mean, that's it, great. It all depends on how you qualify initially. So I'm gonna have a one song qualifier. I yeah. decided. Yeah, yeah, about that. But how about that? Is though. gonna like, is gonna be it's gonna be based on your EX score multiplied by your dan and divided by your miscount. So it kind of incorporates every aspect of the game yeah. into a total score. So wherever okay. you, you score on that is gonna determine your initial placement for lack. So like if Derek scores at the top, he'll be first place in the top tier, like okay. by the top. And then it just it just goes from there. I'll have future qualifiers just to kind of switch it up. But anyone who's already in the ladder, if they play a qualifier song, it's not gonna like change their spot. It's just gonna change the standard for people who want to enter. So like oh, yeah. say like the person in third place in the top tier gets one thousand on their second qualifier and they already qualified in the first one, then I mean if someone gets like one thousand and one going into the, the what is it, the the ladder? Yeah, then the they'll take that uh, third place spot like by the fall. They'll just kind of oh, around, okay. down. So. so you have to constantly qualify to try and keep your spot. Or you said you don't have to always well, No, you don't have to constantly qualify. You just you just set the standard for that spot. Okay. I see. The standard just constantly changes. Just please don't make it something stupidly on beat because So it's it's not like, okay, well the ladder's over for this season, we're gonna restart it. The ladder just continues. Belt. Yeah, it just goes on and on and on. You're not going to do a Diablo like until a ladder reset or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, no Okay. Best game. <laughs> Best game. Really, until everyone loses interest again in like three months. And then you can do a ladder reset. I reckon that'd be a good thing. It, yeah. yeah. I think I think if you did it like every few months, it wouldn't be a bad idea. So long yeah. as like if if interest is starting to wane, I think a ladder reset's a really good way to do it. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I'm same, same thing with I'll, the I'll just cancel it. I, I really don't know. But I mean, we'll get there when we get there. I'll, I'll run it by and see who's even interested. But I, I am, I'm very interested in this, as I said. Like, yeah. I'm more like, than happy. I mean, if I only have like ten. Now I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> I'll just have like one. Key. See, like, I mean, one ladder. But I mean, if I have like at least like thirty people entering, then I'll definitely. At do. least thirty? You need thirty at, people? Actually, at least fifteen. Yeah, fifteen's good. I mean, spot. it's worth doing if you got fifteen. But yeah. And then each, each spot, like tiers, can expand, so you can end up having more people in one tier than the other. I just say it looks like Derek's falling asleep. Well, I feel like minimum five. <laughs> I think my eyes are just fucking small, man. He's <laughs> <laughs> got the Asian eyes. Yeah. All right. So, so is there anything else you wanted to cover, Don? I mean, aside from like obviously the Not ladder. Really, it's just it's on our program, the program Sun. Yeah. So. Okay.
So so e EMU's people can't compete? Um... Oh god. Oh really? yeah, you just compete too, you just, oh. there has to be coordination of some sort. Yeah, yeah, okay, no, you can compete, oh, that's fine. Matt's banned already. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, is there actually, while I'm thinking of, is there a sport history? Um... Not that I know of, actually. Well, okay, for EMU's people, just just have it be like they have to send a picture. Or something. Yeah, a picture would be fine. Yeah, like, I mean, how, I mean, that's a lot of pictures, though. Oh, it doesn't matter, though. Oh. I mean, and how else are you going to do it, though? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. How else are you going to do it? Like, because I mean, the well, score, I mean, the, not, yeah, the score well, history on Call I'm My just, Site, I'm, the score history on Call My Site only goes back 20 songs. Yeah, but you can't use 2DXMe because that's just your best scores. Yeah. Plus, I don't have 2DX me. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'll, I'll figure it out. So. Oh, yeah, well, you get it figured out. I, I don't know if there's going to be any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, that's good. I mean, obviously, I hope that this will generate some that, interest. That, if you enter, you have to play it super. Oh, <laughs> I can. I can do that. Easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, All right, well, there you go. So, I mean. Just for now, I think, yeah, just oh, say... Oh, you can play the program some, too. Play yeah, but his piece on setup is ass, awesome, so... Yeah, that's what, what, are, what, what are you gonna do LR2... 2 range? I agree, I agree. <laughs> LR2. <laughs> Let's do it. All, all, all my like, fraudulent timing. Pick, pick all happy, lovely baby. That's, oh, that's yeah. all your sets. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. And LR2, just set your timing. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Just, <laughs> I just want to set my judgment to very easy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, what? I forgot that it's actually a very easy. Oh, God. Yeah, it's so. just thankfully most people aren't fraudulent, fraudulent, or fraudulent enough to actually like make their chart with very easy. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> that's 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 gonna be me on um, Pendulum. I'm just gonna play expand judge. For oh my smiling. lord! I uh, I don't know why they put that in. It's like, I I, I want to talk about that. I want to actually. Goku mentioned something interesting. He said, "Why didn't they add a decrease judge as well?" Because that would have been a good feature. I would have liked that. Gamble people want, people want to feel good about themselves. Yeah, yeah, that's actually. Yeah, but that's I'd, actually, feel that's actually I'd feel good opinion. if I had decrease judge and I triple eight something. Well, Fucking that's, one that's frame with That's my biggest feel with expand judge. Is that like, oh, you're having a crappy day? Just play a couple songs on expand judge, get your motivation back up, jump back into it. But it's, it's like, also there's another appeal because I want to see how how well people can score on really. Stupid stuff like can someone actually like perfect combo May and like hundred percent May with expand judge now? I reckon like, the I reckon the rag could do it. Honestly, it probably. But I mean, yeah, we'll we'll see how it is. So it's like yeah, I mean, he's getting ninety three on standard time. Uh, come yeah, on. I know. <laughs> well, man, he's he's fucking full comboing the song like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most people's percent on May is super low just because they miss so much in the middle section. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. like if you take out the middle section, it's probably not that hard of a triple A actually. Like if you yeah. take out the yeah. whole slowdown. Yeah. But just, like I think it, like if I had no misses on that slowdown, I'd probably have like a ninety three on May. Yeah. yeah. You think? Yeah. Yeah, I I'd, I'd probably have a seven. <laughs> yeah. So, there you go. Alright, well, um, since we've covered that, there's one final thing I wanted to bring up, and that is... Oh, fuck off, Kevin. Uh, Best of the West, coming up in two weeks. Um, are you guys hyped for Best of the West? If I, I get top eight, then I will be happy. There's a lot of really good people entering, aren't there? There are. Like, I heard, I heard that System went... Two weeks in advance just to try and get used to the machine. Well, actually, no, apparently that wasn't true. Oh, apparently okay. System was going to Japan, so he's in oh, Japan right. right now. Oh, yeah. Him and Adrian are both in Japan right now. Alright, so they, they, they're training for Best of the West in Japan. <laughs> That's this over here. Really, but. <laughs> yeah, no, in, in fact, I wanted in, top yeah, four initially. Yeah. Initially, I wanted top four, but then, like. Well, think of uh, who's in. He's going. Systems going. You got big MT. You got going, Matt. You got Derek. Yeah. So and top four is gonna be pretty tough. I mean, yeah. and you got Galen as well. Galen's really freaking good too. But I do like that you can't coast through on luck anymore. You can't coast through on what you're just good at. It's yeah. gonna be completely random hard. Though. So you can't just you can't just pick like all easy timing songs. You have to yeah. draw timing songs. So if yeah, you yeah. draw 
a batch of hard 12s and you suck at 12, but you're like really good at 9s and 10s, or tough shit, you have to play those 12s. Yeah, yeah. That's why you... It's good, but yeah. has he really included hypers? Yeah, For the 10s, yeah, but I really don't have anything against that, like... I do not play hypers, so I'd, I'd be sight reading every day. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> like... I mean, it doesn't yeah. matter. Like, my yeah, whole philosophy on 2DX is if you're good at 12, you will be good at anything lower than which are pretty much, yeah. Really, the only that, thing that, that might trip you up are scratch songs, and you can just veto those. It's not very likely you're gonna draw, like, Snake Stick Hyper and Beachside Bunny Hyper yeah. in the same thing. Oh, so God, it's like, oh, so you take it in a card draw? Oh, just veto it. Yeah. Oh, yeah it doesn't, doesn't even matter. I was well, playing random 10s last night on Hyper, and, like, I have never seen the charts once in my life, and, like... Yeah, I know. It's, it's like, like, I like, 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 yeah. like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the hyper tens are just like partially the another charts with no cores, basically. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like no scratches. Like first samurai, there's like zero scratches. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing like an eight or something. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, just just curious, like you three are going, right? Derek, Don, and Matt. Uh, yeah. I'm. Pretty sure I'm going, but I mean, things might change. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously. So. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and obviously, who, who do you think is going to rank, well, let's say, like top 10? Like, who are the top 10 contenders at the moment, would you say? Derek. Yeah. Well, okay, I'll say, I, I think my prediction. Yeah, yeah, your prediction. Like Derek, Matt. Yeah. And so that's a tough one. Because it's a lot of really system. Good it's gonna be top three. You reckon system will get it. The thing is, I don't know about system's consistency. Like, you get some beast scores, but it's it's really hard to judge. It depends on how he is in the arcade. Cause I mean, yeah, because apparently like... he's not very used to that machine. Yeah. Uh, although apparently he did he hard is, clear nine at the sight range. It's not used to the machine. It's that he's not used to playing in the arcade. Oh yeah. So he's gonna be in Japan for two weeks playing on the machine there. So. Okay, that might that might settle in. Um, all right, so third or third or fourth, fourth obviously said system. What about um, what about what's his fourth name? and fifth? I think Galen. Galen and will probably get it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, big MT for sure. What about Gabe? Where do you think Gabe will come? He's oh, not Brian. going. He's not going. No, he's not going. I'm um, shattered. I was really looking forward to the money match between Donovan and uh. <laughs> Will probably be under that. Yeah. Um, I'll probably be under that. Yeah. So I might just might be like eighth, and then maybe Mageki and Adrian. Yeah, Mageki and Adrian are definitely gonna hit top ten. I reckon they're, they're playing Plus, really well. Plus, Buns shows up, then he'll get like first. <laughs> he's he's had buns. Had, okay, so he's probably triple eight. Hey, Step the fuck back! <laughs> like by the time he gets to the tournament, he's just gonna be like best in the world. Yes, let's, let's, let's discuss DJ Buns. DJ Buns, um, <laughs> holy shit, like, that's all I it's can not say. Even, like, I watched his stream and it's not even like he just sacrificed timing. It's like, not even like he he's just sacrificed just legitimately timing a beast. to like get good at clearing stuff. He's good at timing stuff too, like yeah, for his just, level. He's just insanely good. Like he, he got equally good at both. He can clear stuff, he can time stuff. He's just... He's gonna get he hasn't been playing for I... 10 months. I don't understand it. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, we had him play Kaiden. He failed Nageki the first stage when he first played it, and then he played it again and he got to May. <laughs> wow, holy shit. <laughs> Why is he so good? Taisuke, Taisuke, you've been ousted. Yeah, I've been ousted, in man. Yeah. But see, the thing is, uh. I think there's a lot of people that seem to come up really fast, but burn out <laughs> really quickly afterwards. You reckon? I mean, so, really? there is the possibility that, like, at some point he's just gonna hit a wall and he's just gonna lose interest and just burn out of the game. It's just gonna stagnate there and just kinda, like, improve really slowly from there. Yeah. I don't know, like, honestly, ugh, it's, it's tough to tell because there's so it many it, it good really new players on, like, coming he, up. He, I mean, Adrian and, and Mugeki are just, like, insane. I mean, like, look at Exagon. He was, he was clearing well in his first year. Where does he now? No, no, hard clearing well. Wow, fuck you! We should have been 95 in May by now. Like, yeah! What's up with that, man? 
Hey you man, want I hard cleared, cleared me. I at least got But then again, shit. like, I cleared like 10 damn, like, within a year of playing. Wow. And then, like, I just kind of, like, slowed down from there. Like, I cleared, like, DJ Trooper's Kaiden in two years. And then it's like, I stopped playing for a bit, and then... I think that happens to everyone. Like, like, everyone, then, everyone has a down period where they just don't play for a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the reason why Tysuke's not Derek tier, because he just stopped. I just stopped yeah. for a year. Fuck, that's if I had to stop. Yeah. If I had to stop, yeah, yeah, I, I, st I stopped, too, yeah. like, for, like, a few years. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, and then again, I don't know, I've been, been playing forever. Yeah, so... On, on the other opposite end of the spectrum, uh, there's also players, no names named, who, you know, have been playing for like 10, 15 years, who just haven't improved at all, so... <laughs> <laughs> no names named! <laughs> there's, there's just so many ends of the spectrum, but I mean, on, on the higher end, yeah, DJ Buns is seriously freaking scary. If he keeps going at the rate he is, he's gonna yeah. be like... Top, yeah. top tier, he's gonna be like, system plus. Or whatever, like absolute base. Yeah, this stuff apparently hasn't even been playing that long. Like I yeah. thought he was playing for like years. No, 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 no. He's. he's all, I think he's only been playing for like three years or something. Yeah, like wow. a short time, and he's freaking. But then again, sick. it's like it's the same thing with Adrian and Thomas. Like they've only been playing for like two or three years. Yeah, they're already this good, which is really scary. Like they caught up to my level in two years. Yeah, but it might actually be a bit easier come though. From, though. What? What game you come from really affects, I find, how quickly yeah. you rise. Because like, I mean, before before getting into 2DX, I played Step Mania for like four years at like a decently high level. So I mean, that helped me so much. Like just reading yeah, yeah. and like finger strength and etc. You know. Yeah. Um, apparently, and also Buns, piano. apparently Buns was playing. Uh, what was it? Like DJ Max or something like that? No, he wasn't. He wasn't. I, we asked him on stream, he said he never played O2 Jam or DJ Max. Oh, uh, holy sh... Who is this guy? Yeah, and the thing with me is I played O2 from. Jam and DJ Max, and when I still started 2DX, like, I was retarded at it. I still have to start at, like, level 1s. Yeah. <laughs> right? like, Honestly, I, um... Oh, man. I do feel, I feel like in, like, what well, I man with now, with, like, P-Sun and, like, fucking later styles, I feel like it's, like, a lot... Easier to it's put your ass. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Com compared to like before, where it's like, okay, there's just like me scripted and like Nageki. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, go. Like, yeah. It's like, yeah, have, have fun. And like the rest of the songs are kind of like, uh, okay, whatever. Like there's a lot more like like middle ground now. Yeah, for, like, so it's, it's much easier to progress. Like much, much easier. Yeah. And, and because um, there's so much more variety of charts, it's like so much more mental exercise. If you just like opened. The folder that you're at, like say eights, like you've been playing for like yeah, and that's just something. hundreds just of eights now. Play eights, just like don't even play the same song ever again. Just like bam, bam, bam. You don't bam, have to. That's the thing. By the yeah. time you're done with the eights, you're probably able to do up tens. to nines. Yeah, you have to nines yeah. or tens. It's just probably able to back. do tens like comfortably. So yeah, man. Yeah. Okay, man, I kind of, I kind of feel that, man. Like sometimes I think like the reason why like the Japanese community probably did get fucking good, even though they had such a limited amount of songs. I feel like most of them are probably playing BMSs. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of these fucking BMS songs are from like 2004 and like, yeah. <laughs> like, like even like further back. I think like Air came out like in like 2001 or something. Yeah. Wow. Something ridiculous, yeah. Air. No, because I remember playing Air on Step Mania and it was ported from BMS, so. Yeah. yeah, like, oh. they're already fucking clearing shit like Air God and Gengo Ozo God, like, yeah. I back to I just don't know. That's insane. I think, I think back then, though, they were more uh, keyboard-oriented, though. I think, I mean, yeah. I feel like people still played on controllers. They probably <laughs> were, but they probably weren't as prominent. Because, I mean, yeah, that but... was back from, like, O2 Jam and, like, Nazo. Not Nazo, yeah, yeah, some yeah. Thing. yeah, it was Nazo. But I remember Nazo there, there was some like there was some Korean thing. It was some like synthesizer game that involved. I remember like, that. Yeah, like glitzy looking. Yeah, like, really bright. But it was. I think it was more like people who were like playing keyboard, like people like Che and ABCD. Yeah, stuff yeah, like that. That's from like O2 Jam though, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they came from. Again, now they're just ridiculous. Look. But I'm pretty yeah. sure, like, once, like, fucking, like, dial controllers came out, and so people are already. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. It's, probably, it's like, like beating that. Yeah. Just... yeah. But, I mean, even still, like. I don't look... even think it's that. I think it's the community that's so comfortable. Like, I don't know. 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 I don
about how to play the game. Yeah. I, there's, I, also, uh, there's also a fact that they have like 20 machines in every arcade, so it's like there's no downtime. Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, you don't yeah, have to wait to find What's that? Yeah, there's, there's another like three machines next to you. Oh, that's fine. You can just go find one of those. Like, freaking Taito Station, seven machines. So yeah. good. Awesome. Good. Tri Tower. Honestly, seven I think machines. people need to take a. I think people in arcades need to take a completely different approach where you just decide to session. Yeah. That way, you let one person take the machine for a few credits and then someone else takes it for a few credits. That way you don't have to like sit play one game, hope you get a good random on everything and hope you're warmed up and then sit for another two hours to wait to play again. That that'll you just be that'll you just be Toshia and you just say fuck off I'm a top ranker and take the machine yeah, for two hours. That would, that would actually that was actually something I got from Chino. Yeah. When he says he plays ITG, he lets everyone else play like before him. And yeah. then he gets up and takes the machine for like five or six sets or however much. Oh, and he wow. just plays this whole thing in one set. I mean, now, I mean at least like now they have like premium, premium free, free though. Like, yeah, premium yeah. free yeah. sort yeah. of makes premium sense. Premium free is like, like prohibitively expensive though if you really wanted to like yeah. it. I mean, I'm pretty I, sure I, I for, think, for the I don't, people I still that don't use it. Free unless I'm like grinding. Really stuff. trying to grind something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't. I, here's, here's the thing. I never played premium free until Exodon forced me to do it. Until then, I'd never touched it. Yeah, and no, even then, I did shit in that premium free session. I did nothing worthwhile. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's uh, the thing. Also, that so often. A, a, another thing I feel like is kind of like a big part of it too is like when you can like I know most people in like the U.S. community they fucking play they play at home, right? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like you can kind of just play and like not really give a shit. As for when you're going, it's kind of it sounds kind of dumb, but I feel like it does make a difference. As in, like when you when you go to the arcade, like you know you're paying money. Yeah. yeah. To, like oh, yeah. the play, yeah. and like obviously you want to get the most out of your money and not like do yeah. stupid shit and like yeah. fail on your first stage or and whatnot. Oh yeah. I mean like honestly like like most of the players here. I mean we 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 had two DX for a while in the arcade. Yeah. And, like a lot of the players here like didn't really play at home and they only played at arcade. And mm -hmm. like like their progression is like it's pretty or like like significantly like better compared to like if like I feel like people. That are playing just at home, man. I mean, obviously, I mean, people that there's people that play at home that get good. I mean, don't get me wrong about that. But like, I mean, just from like what I noticed, I mean, like, well, like uh, I mean, like Darcy for example. I mean, he he got good like in a year. Like when yeah, I he's, first met him, really good. Yeah, like when I first met him in the arcade, he was like only beating eights and nines. Wow. And like he literally just I like played for like a year, and I I'll just play with him in the arcade for like a year or so, and like he's not, like and he got like. The fucking twelves, like, and his yeah, timing is like pretty damn. His good. timing is actually quite impressive for the amount of time yeah. playing. So. I mean, a lot of the players here are like that. I mean, like, even like Dane, he's getting a lot better. He's been clearing like a lot of like before. He's like, some pretty dumb twelves now. Like he got yeah, hurt. I mean, he's, like in Linko, he was only nine down. Wow. And, like he, I mean, he wasn't playing much. Then Tricolo, yeah. he got the ten down, but still, he wasn't <laughs> playing a lot. But like now, he's like getting Ooh. like a lot better, and like he's. Yeah. His timing is like not all there, but like he's clearing like twelve point thirteens. Yeah, which that's is that's how I spot. feel honestly though. Like when I transferred to the arcade, I had to completely like relearn how to play the game. Oh yeah, I was same. always used to home. Like the timing is different. My play style is different. It's just everything it. about it just felt a lot different. Yeah, yeah. Like I actually almost failed ten then when I first played in the arcade. Wow. Because I wasn't used to it at all. I was back on like. Serious. That I, sounds like, like a recent occurrence. <laughs> <laughs> on that, on that bombshell, I think we should probably uh, call the colloquium quits because I mean, I, unless people have questions, I'll leave like two minutes, guys. If you have any questions for this colloquium, um, feel free to put them in chat. And uh, but yeah, we probably should wrap things up just because it's been going for like an hour and a half. So yeah, as long as you guys are happy with that. But yeah, uh, recent occurrence is tenth down. Um, yeah. I, I'm not gonna try kite anytime soon. Still, no, no, you are. I'm not ready. <laughs> yes, you are. This guy. I'll, le I'll leave you start my Kickstarter fund. <laughs> so, I, I, kind of anyone watching this, I may start like a crowdfunding thing to get Darks to come to America. If anyone wants to, you know, debate in it. But the 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 
the catch is he has to clear tight end if he wants to do it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if, I'll come up with that like if, maybe more in the future. <laughs> I might not even crowdfund it. I might even just it might even just be us. So the thing is, like, if if it's a free trip to California, fuck yeah, I'm gonna get kind of like. Are you? Is... Are you? Well, I mean, no. you still do want it because otherwise you wouldn't have told that girl yeah, that exactly. you were kind of. Uh, 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 so you, you can't just off that you don't care. Uh huh. Yeah, because right? you because you specified that in the tweet and when you told her. I'm a no 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 no. She specified it in the tweet. Oh. And I'm a CS kind of. I'm not an AC kind. Yeah, because we know that counts. Fraud, fraud dead. Um, so wants to know who is the whitest one here. Well, it's a pretty tough. Matt. 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 I don't know. Like I said, apparently Chino Matt. told me that Darks is the whitest person ever. <laughs> he said you're like super. He said you're super Australian. Like yeah, no, I'm very, very that's Australian. That's true, actually. Yeah, actually, between Matt <laughs> very and Darks. Straight, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. yeah, so, oh, so Matt, Matt, Matt has his well, NASCAR. Well, well, if, well, if, uh, well, if he passes Titan, then we can find out. We can have a white competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. white competition. Fight off. Yeah, what? <laughs> uh, I have, a, I have, a, John I have a question. Uh, when, when am I going to see a money match between you and Gabe, Don? At, um, at Best of the West. When, when yeah. he actually plays in the arcade. <laughs> when he, when he gets not, off his JKOC. And not on a KOC. I don't know, I, I think he's playing on a down now, I'm not sure, but he hasn't played on Program Sun in like a while. Yeah, it's been a while. So, like, he got some pretty yeah, good scores in there. Was actually, there was actually a comparison, like, he is a lot better on the I saw him play Kaido. And I, I think he failed on PS yeah, still, he got like an A. Oh yeah. Like, but it's like, in the arcade, I think he I fail on the Geki sometimes, even now. Oh, apparently Gabe is still playing CS, he's on off the Darks, please. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Last time I looked up his scores on the shed, I didn't see anything. So I don't know, oh, maybe yeah. he picks him. Does he... He apparently, I guess he drops it and like picks it up every now and then. Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll play for a few months and drop for a few months. And then, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, so any any last questions before Taisuke stops the stream? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Not really. Uh, Alright, All right. well. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I think we'll do another one of these when either there's another big release, like an event or something like that. Or we'll do it when Pedjul comes out. So, yeah. Program World gets it like eight months later. Yeah, no, no, but I mean, Taisuke can talk to us about it. That's the, that's and the thing. And we'll just be like, ugh, I want it. And yeah, then we get it, but it's not as hyped because we're like five events behind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Honestly, though, I don't think it but should take... it's Konami events, there's no hype about them at all. I don't, I don't see why it should take us long, because isn't Pendul just going to be like the same as Sparta? Well, it's, in, it's just there, a there were patch. different issues, okay, which okay, I'm darks, not, not going to say. Yeah. Darks, it's not the same game. Public. Because but, the results screen doesn't have the fucking Vuvuzela well, in it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, there's, there's, there were different issues. I'm not going to say them on screen to make them public. Yeah, that's fair. That delayed spot is released. Yeah, so I don't think Pendulum is I don't delayed. think will affect Pendulum. So I yeah, think so Pendulum should actually, provided he gets it fairly fast, Pendulum should be should come out about the same time. Yeah. So. 2014, on the other hand, for DDR is going to be never because it sucks and basically <laughs> screws anyone who doesn't use Paselli, which is like 90% of program world. Still, so I think there, I think there's only like with the whole Paselli thing, I think there's like maybe three or four arcades that are on Paselli. There's for Super DDR. Arcade. There's uh, well that that also includes places that have not even includes places that have DDR. Like I think there's like two places that have Paselli that are on DDR. Wow, because I thought there's, that like. Paselli. Game Underground and there's PSG, which is our oh, yeah. I think those are the only two places that have to sell it. Oh man, that sucks. I mean, I think there's an arcade in Texas that's on Paselli, and then there's Super Arcade on Paselli, and I think that's it. There's like four or five arcades on Paselli. Hawaii will be on it where they get it. We're, we've been we've been waiting for like five months. <laughs> yeah, our fucking, they can our, our arcade is so dumb. Don't sell it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, like, they yeah. have it, and like, they just won't sell it to us. Like, and all they have yeah. to do is just take our 10 bucks. Like, that's it. Yeah. Let's take our money. So right. Yeah, there's that. I guess Ohio has it. 
Yeah. But most of the arcades, I think, are still not on the cellar. It's like yeah, the that, places that use it. They really, really suck. All right. Well, uh, yeah, just to, to save, like, rent a bed on the stream, uh, I'm going to call it quits for now. So, yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching, guys. And, yeah, we will reconvene when shit happens in the game. So, bye my stream. Ty's if you can stop the stream, that would be wonderful. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks for having me. Post the stream, Darks. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs>